My name is Louis Garcia. I'm Tiwa and Pedro from southern New Mexico. My name is uh, Antonio Jojola. Everybody calls me Jojo. I'm from Las Cruces, New Mexico. I'm the war chief of the Piro Manso Tigua Indians. Preserving tradition to me means um, taking steps to keep a tradition alive that may otherwise be lost. I lost a lot of my tradition for a lot of years because I was uh, I was in the military for 33 years, and unfortunately, I lost my grandmother when I was real young, and and I lost a lot of my tradition going back. And I have a new general now, and that's Louis Garcia. He's teaching me all the traits. Well, this is a loom. It's it's just a. Uh, something that I love making, you know. But uh, before I make one, I always say a prayer. Kitatan azul y la polua, tu hoy mi kumi gana, mi kumi gana ruyaki, mugili nasamagi hiki, quick samain murkitakta hiki, haiku kuyamo kia in haskillery na fogei, gimoro ya pol ya hulei kuyali nasanipomo liki kuyali mahinake yo. When you're warping your item, whatever textile you're weaving, that becomes, it's like preparing your field. All the prayers and the offerings that go into that, it's like just the same thing when you're sitting at your warping board and you're laying the warp. You're setting, getting things ready. And then when you put in your heddles and you start using your, your batten, this is also like the planting stick. And it's one of the, the basic tools that were given to us at the time of, of our creation that this was gonna be our main tool that would be used to sustain us as Pueblo people. And that as long as we uh, maintain the connection with our, our planting and a very simple, humble way of life, then we will continue to live on as Pueblo people. So this becomes the planting stick and the way we put in the seed, which represent all of our prayers, all of our hopes, all of our wishes that we want, not only for our families, but for our communities, so they can continue to survive and continue to strive in a world um, that may be less than perfect. So as long as we maintain our, our thoughts and our prayers on, on what's most important to who we are as Pueblo people, and we maintain our connection and understanding of these items, it's just, this is just not a tool. Um, same goes with the baton. I was taught to take care of our items because they're sacred tools. They were given to us by, by the, our ancestors and we must honor them in that way so that we can create beautiful clothing for our people to continue to live in a good way. I just love it, you know, I, 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 I fell in love with it. And uh, I said, I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna make sure that this tradition is not lost, you know, and and especially I want to teach the younger generation because they, uh, they're, not, they're not learning, you know. They're, there's something wrong because they're staying behind and we have to teach them because we cannot lose this, you know. It's, it's something beautiful, you know, to, to learn something like this and then show it out to the public, you know. And uh, it's just something that, that it comes from here, you know. Uh, I love it. Yeah.